sisters, this entire week has been spent reliving the steps Jesus took to Golgotha's heel. Most of us are familiar with the pain and the suffering Jesus went through. Most of us have heard the story about how he was whipped, how he bled, how he suffered. Most of us have heard about how people spit on him, slapped him with their hands. We even heard about the people whom he fed, two fish, five barley loaves, took, took care of not long ago, and the same ones how we crucified him. of us about how he went to a kangaroo court and how the judge of the court actually said he was not guilty. But the folk said kill him anyway. We heard that. And many of us, many of us, many of us understand what happened after that. We know that Pilate tried to let him go anyway. By trying to fool the folk into choosing between a murderer and the king of the Jews. And y'all know what happened, as folk do. They chose Barabbas. Isn't it amazing what folk will do? And most of us know that after was forced to carry his own cross come on, come on. up the hill <laughs> only with the help from one Simon a man who showed up and gave, gave him a little helping hand pressed the action most of us know that we know that he was nailed we know that they hung him up we know they taunted him we know that two one left and one right, argued and fussed with him and told him, if you be the son of Christ, a of God, come down from the call cross and save us too. We know that. We also know that the one on the right got an epiphany. Oh yeah. Some of y'all need to get one today. Somehow or another, his eyes were open and he saw that he was in fact the Christ and he said, Lord, when thou cometh into thy kingdom, remember me. We know that. We also know that at the end of the story here, Jesus, after telling God to forgive them because they don't know what they're doing, dropped his head in the locks of his shoulders, hollered out before he could drop and say, It is finished! And gave up the ghost. We know that. Most of us. And the reality is that if you've been coming to church in a length of time, you know that he stayed in the grave all night Friday. All day Saturday. And if you ever heard of a strong or semi-strong African-American preach man or woman, you know Sunday morning. We know that. So my brothers and my sisters, in order for us to continue to celebrate Sundays, I need you to know that is not the end of the story. We've only just begun. See, 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 if you're not careful, you will leave out of here thinking that this is it. But my brothers and my sisters, Jesus was very determined to make sure that we understood he simply got the ball rolling. What do you mean, Reverend? Look what happens here in the scripture. Jesus, according to the, the, the other riders went out into the grave and dealt with some things and brought back 
sure that they involved them. I want y'all to please understand something. Please catch this. The women did not go to the grave expecting him to be gone. Why? Because they carried a whole lot of embalming stuff. And you don't carry embalming stuff to the grave just to waste.
I tell them all the time, the people that holler are the ones that know the truth. Amen. <laughs> and everybody knows. <laughs> but maybe if you know the angel, you can hold your position. You have power when you follow God. He says, I all power has been given unto me, so you can do what I call you to do. Because it's only just begun. Run through it real quickly. I will. Here it comes. He says, I'm giving you power. Because I got the power in heaven and earth. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to go. Now, I need to stop there for a moment. Because too many of us misunderstand the term go. Go does not mean sit. Go does not mean sit back and watch somebody else. Go does not mean you chill while everybody else trying to get it done. Go does not mean sit back on what they need to do. Anybody ever heard that term? See, they need to do something about that. They, they need to, they need to, they need to. They need to. Thank you. 